designs in my blood, right? So everywhere I go, I'm look, constantly looking, I just can't help it. So if I notice signage on buses, on shop fronts, on billboards, that sort of thing, and it's all part of, I guess, the culture of our business. All of our designers in our business do the same thing. So from that, we work out what's, what's working, what's really current trend, and we just inject that into every design that we do. I first started getting an interest in design when I was probably in year nine at school. Um, and I realized I could draw and, and that kind of evolved into, um, you know, airbrushing. I did an airbrushing course when I think I was in year 10. And then I started airbrushing, you know, people's t-shirts and things like that at school. So we first started designing t-shirts for brands like Looney Tunes, you know, Warner Brothers and Disney and all the Disney movies. And, but then we started designing for fashion brands and surfwear brands. So because we had multiple levels of people that would give us feedback on our designs, it constantly taught us how to uh, design on a commercial level to, to please those people. Once you see those designs printed on t-shirts and people wearing them in the street, uh, yeah, it just gives you a, a sense of, uh, you know, it's quite humbling really. The writing was on the wall because the whole clothing rag trade industry was going through a major shift and that was that the retailers were going vertical and cutting out the middleman and the wholesaler. So now at the time I had an office full of full-time designers, we had a young family and we had a mortgage and we had bills and I had to actually borrow money to stay in business and it was quite a scary time. I looked for a business coach that already had a successful online business. Then I just started learning everything I could from that business coach. And I learned about marketing funnels and lead magnets and conversions and pretty much everything to do with growing an online business, growing a team and all that sort of stuff. But this hasn't been an easy journey for me in my business, so I understand the challenges that small businesses have, especially in the service industry. And then gradually, we started getting known in the industry and our name was spreading all around the world. And I realized that all of the marketing knowledge that I'd learned over the years, we started applying to these websites and people just started flocking to us because we married those two things together so well, marketing and really beautiful design. I was always an introvert and, and too scared to be on camera like this or too scared to be on stage. And then the more I just pushed myself through that, raising my authority has attracted higher level clients. And that in itself is so inspiring because we never thought we could reach that level of clients before. But now that we are, we're seeing under the hood of their businesses and we're seeing their marketing funnels. And so that alone is given us even more ammunition to pour into every website that we design to get our clients a better result. The problem I found with web design in general was that there were web designers out there that didn't understand conversions or online marketing. And there seemed to be a big hole in the market. And that's what a lot of clients say to us when they find us. It's like, finally, I found somebody that understands marketing and does really good looking designs. And now we've grown the team to you know over 20 people. I love the fact that we design for a lot of clients in the US and the UK and Europe and pretty much everywhere in the world. And the whole reason for doing what we do is so that I can spend more time with my family. And that wouldn't happen if we didn't use our principles of website design, which is really leading with value, building trust, building your authority, having as much social proof on your website as possible and attracting better quality businesses to you so that you essentially get leverage from your website. So you don't have to do the hard sell ever. People are attracted to you like a magnet. Thank you.